Wednesday in Naples, the State Board of Education took action on a laundry list of policies passed last legislative session, voting on new rules to make sure the laws followed as it's written. The board unanimously adopted two items. Both have to do with parents being able to request a special magistrate if they don't agree with a local school board's decision. This is for decisions made by a school board regarding classroom instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity or materials like books being used in class or library. Parents can fill out a form to request a magistrate. The department says the changes ensure parental rights are protected. However, dozens of parents say they don't agree. I don't feel like my rights as a parent are being protected in the slightest. If anything, I feel like they're being eroded and there are more obstacles between myself and my child's education. To me, books aren't about grooming. They're about learning and about the world, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The board tried to appease parents, telling them the rule wasn't about being for or against anything. This right here, the special magistrate process and what would come before this board is just simply, did that school board, did they follow their policy or did they just, are they lacking a policy that they're required to have by law? Another item unanimously approved, a change to the rule that prohibits someone from willfully entering a restroom or changing area of the opposite sex, specifically in Florida's colleges and universities. The move requires institutions to report that they have met the requirements necessary and have instituted disciplinary actions for students or staff who do not use the restroom aligned with their biological sex at birth. That includes potentially firing staff if they don't abide. A parent of a transgender student thinks it's unfair. The proposed rule is an attack on the basic dignity of transgender students, faculty and staff, and I oppose this rule. I would also like to add that there is not a unisex restroom available in this entire very public school building to use at this time. But others think it's necessary. I have to thank you for this proposed rule. This proposed rule helps to create a safer learning environment for all faculty, staff and students, not just the loudest few. A similar action passed to do the same in private K through 12 schools. And the last big ticket item is in line with Senate Bill 846, which limits education institutions from entering into grants and gifts with a foreign country of concern. This new rule specifies the reporting process for institutions. And all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 It passed unanimously.